Hi, today I'm gonna show you how you can create a mesh and shapes with script only and I will show you how you can deform them during one time, as you can see here. So let's get started right away by just creating an empty game object and we will call this Happy Cube. This Happy Cube will get a Happy Cube script. To get started we will introduce two new fields, the one is a mesh filter, the second one is a protected mesh itself. So the mesh and the mesh filter is empty, the first thing we will do is to, on start we will create the mesh, saying mesh, new mesh, then we will assign a name to it like um, generated mesh and then we have to add a component mesh filter to our game object and assign it to our mesh filter and set the mesh to our generated mesh so that's all we got to do now the mesh is completely ready let's try it out in our scene. As you can see now we have a generated mesh with a mesh filter and here the mesh is also set. Let's continue by adding some triangles and vertices. So we are typing mesh vertices equals generate verts and mesh triangles equals generate twice. Okay, as you can see, um, the returning value is a vector 3 array and here it's an int array. The idea behind this is that you just Specify all the points in the 3D space that you will connect with the triangle uh, array. So, let's start by returning a new vector3 array. And in this vector3 array we are creating the vectors. Okay, now let's go to our painting here and let me explain it a little bit deeper. So at first you have to make clear what are your axes. So the first axis is this one, this is a Z axis and we have an X axis. So the up axis is the Y axis, axis I will leave it out for now. So um, at first we need all the points we will specify, so these are the points uh, called vertices. Um, here it's uh, minus one, one, so minus one x and one on the z axis. Um, here it's one, one and here it is one minus one and here we have x minus 1 and z also minus 1. So these are all the points. They are duplicated here above. Um, they have the same coordinates only the y value will be different. Um, now let's numerate them. So this will be 1, this will be or maybe let's start to count and count with 0, 0, 1, 2, 3 and we go up here, four, five, six, seven. So these are all the points we will need. And I will write them down here, minus one X, zero, one, and one X, 0, 1 and 1, 0, minus 1 and minus 1, 0, minus 1 and this is the top of our Q. 
cube. Or the bottom. It's a bottom because the top will be a little bit higher. We will uh, set the top to two. So, and now we have all the vertices we need for the script and we can generate our triangles. So, we do the same thing here. We are just returning the array of integers and now we have to generate triangles. So the first triangle, for example, could be uh, 0, 1, 2 and 0, 1, 2 and the second one is 0, 2, 3 0, 2, 3 and this is the top Oh, I did the same mistake again, this is the bottom and the top, we do the same thing, four, five, six. That's this. We're just connecting all the things together. Four, six, seven. Four, six, seven. And there we go. Uh, one thing we should do is uh, calculate our normals. And our bounds. So let's start with the bounds. The bounds are just a, is a boundary box that contains all the vertices within a cube. Uh, it it, it's very obvious that the bounding box is exactly the cube we are having. If we have a square, it would be a little bit different. Um, normals are just vectors that stand on side, uh, yeah, on side a vertice. For example, here all uh, normals will point up and the normals are for reflecting light. For example, if light comes in from here, then this angle will be measured and replicated here and then it goes out again and this is the reflection. So um, the normal topic is a little bit more complex. Um, I will not deep dive into it right now. Uh, if you want to know more about it, just uh, leave questions in the comment section. So now we got everything we need and we can start our scene. And as you will see, uh, see um, nothing is really showing up because uh, the mesh is there. I think we can already select the mesh. No, we can't because we have to specify how to render it. So, and therefore we have the mesh renderer component, we will uh, add to our game object and we will set a material, for example the default material and then play the scene. And as you can see, here is our cube, the top and the bottom. Um, if we go a little bit deeper, we see that we can only look through it from one side and this is not what a cube looks like so this normal or this uh, shape should be flipped and to flip it we can just flip two numbers here because they are um, you can read it in a loop so it doesn't make a difference if you have four five six or five six four because it's always um, looping so it's four five six four five six and so on we only have to swap two of these, no, the bot. so it's one, zero, two, zero, and then we will start everything again. And it looks very nice. So there are just one, two, three, four sides left. I will fast forward the video here because the next thing I will do is just doing the same thing over and over again. And there we go. These are our uh, triangles and vertices and this is our cube. So let's do some funny things with it. Um, to do it we will introduce two new fields like uh, an up-down factor and a public float up-down speed. We will set this factor to 0.1f and the speed to six. 
and on update we will manipulate our mesh. We will do this by just generate generate the words. So um, we will do this with a parameter and we will add a parameter here, float up and we will add this to every uh, vertice that is on the upper side. So every vertice that, that has a two on the second place. And the default value for up is zero, so that we don't have to change the start method, but we can um, just add some random stuff here, like uh, math f sin time real time sin setup, and multiply it by the up down speed. So we have this. Um, wobbling behavior it's going up and down up and down and uh, we will multiply it with an up and down factor so that we know how far everything is moving so let's try it out okay it still has an error yes it should be zero f And now we see what is happening. Everything is moving, except if one face. Let's have a look here. I think I forgot one, like this one. And let's start this again. Now the cube is moving. I can increase the speed, then it's moving faster, or the factor. Let's add some uh, other transformation and we will add a left factor. The left factor should be 0.3f and left speed. The speed should be 3f. The left offset should be uh, 2.3f. And a stretch factor minus 0 0.1 and stretch speed 6f okay let's start adding these values here so float left 0f float stretch 0f and we will add the same type of script over and over again so this was a left speed stretch speed stretch factor left factor. We will add an offset here because real time in startup um, isn't always in the right offset for, for the effect uh, I wanted to show you. But I think we got everything we need. Okay. Looks great so far. Everything is compiling. Now we have to add all those values to our vertices. Let's start with the stretch factor. We will add this to our x and our z value. Uh, every time the value is minus one, we subtract it. Every time the value is one, we add it. And we will do this for all our vertices. One thing I forgot to mention is we will skip all the values that have a, a 2 on the y-axis. And additionally, 
we will add the left value to all the x values where y is greater than zero. So all these ones with a two on the y axis. Okay, if you have done all the modifications, then it should look like this. Okay, let's start our game and have a look what it looks like. Yeah. This is what I want to see. So it's just a cube that is just wiggling and you can't do it with normal uh, scale operations because look at the bottom, it's very steady and the rest of the cube is moving. So the cube is looking very happy now. The code is in the description, you can download it. This code is a little bit longer because I added a few lines. I will show you what will happen if you edit, uh, add these lines too. The cube will always lean forward to its movement direction and this is how it looks like. It looks like the cube is really alive and is really happy. So that's it. That's how you deform and um, create a mesh during one time in the script. If you like it, if you want to see more of this, please leave a like and write a comment. And see you next time.